Good morning. It's Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Good News, Bad News, and our scriptures, Revelation chapter 10, where John the Apostle writes, Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, surrounded by a cloud, with a rainbow over his head. His face shone like the sun, and his feet were like pillars of fire, and in his hand was a small scroll that had been opened. He stood with his right foot on the sea, and his left foot on the land, and he gave a great shout like the roar of a lion. And when he shouted, the seven thunders answered. When the seven thunders spoke, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from heaven saying, Keep secret what the seven thunders said. Do not write it down. Then the angel I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand toward heaven. He swore an oath in the name of the one who lives forever and ever, who created the heavens and everything in them, the earth and everything in it, and the sea and everything in it. He said, There will be no more delay. When the seventh angel blows his trumpet, God's mysterious plan will be fulfilled. It will happen just as he announced it to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice from heaven spoke to me again. Go and take the open scroll from the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and told him to give me the small scroll. Yes, Take it and eat it, he said. It will be sweet as honey in your mouth, but it will turn sour in your stomach. So I took the small scroll from the hand of the angel, and I ate it. It was sweet in my mouth, but when I swallowed it, it turned sour in my stomach. Then I was told, you must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, languages, and kings. There is good news, and there is bad news. When you confuse the two and you can't see what's coming, that's terrible news. When that's your condition, you can't appreciate the good or avoid the bad. Jesus told the apostle to swallow the scroll. He told him the good news would be the scroll would taste like honey in his mouth. The bad news, sour stomach. I can identify. I love Italian food. It's so tasty. But when it hits my stomach, it's like the Vikings have landed and started a war down there. Centuries before, in Ezekiel's day, God's prophet had the same experience. Eat the scroll, taste like honey. But the message was gloom and doom for the enemies of God. This tells us something that's overwhelmingly invaluable to anyone wanting to understand God's ways. Sweet-sounding messages aren't always easy deals if you're not inclined to obey God's ways. And conversely, harsh messages are only harsh if you don't obey God's ways. So the key ingredient of understanding God's ways is always an obedient heart receiving God's word as truth. For you today, that obedient heart thing Of course, you're aware it has little to do with paying respect to God with lips than doing what you want with your life. A disciple not only hears with his or her ears, there is that matter of following through. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.